Hey friends, Wayne over at Ram Man Inc. Don't forget the ink. Hey, today we're going to have small bearing hub class. And hopefully this will clear up a few things. I've made so many videos before on different things and sometimes I just make a new one. We get a hint from the client. So, first off, we beg and plead. Beg and plead for people to put these together and slide them on. And very few do it. The ones that do do it, they have a lot less problems. Beg and plead. But we got others. It won't put their shafts in, bolt this on. Try to get this in. And try to line up the cap. It go, don't do it their way. This design has been out since the 70s. It's forged. Go. Shaft goes in. Ship with two retaining rings. Not all applications use both rings. Not all applications use both rings. This spiral lock's about 60, and this big lock is about 80 thousandths, and combined they're about 145 thousandths. Of course, they fit in this ring right here. This is what holds the locker in. Design. All this is designed to move a little bit. There's a little bit of clearance. When you turn this 45 degrees, it's actually slightly longer. That's why there's about 40 thousandths play in between here. There's some play in between here because when you turn, it becomes slightly longer. or shorter based on which way you're going. So, we have our shaft with our rubber seal. And it goes in just fine. Every now and then, every great now and then, you'll have a situation where the shaft won't quite go all the way in. Now, I want you to see something with some common sense. The only thing that can push back on the stub shaft is the locker body. The locker body is pushing back. That is why given two rings. There's one ring right there. There's two shown right there. Now, it, here's where this comes in. If you believe that the distance between here and here is the same on every brand and every model that's out there, you are sorely mistaken. Sorely mistaken. If you believe that the spline depth is exactly the same on every single one, those two are different. Those two are different. And short, a little bit longer.
even though they come from Spicer, come from Timken, you are sorely mistaken. And that's why you have to have a little bit of adjustment. So, with both rings installed, it sinks the locker body as far down as it can go. With one of them removed, you can move it out 60 thousandths if you remove the spiral lock, 80 thousandths if you remove the big one. So, that is a built-in adjustment into the system. Remember now, you don't want everything fit ass tight. You need to have a little bit of play. So, we have a little bitty gap there. take out that bingo snap ring both of them are installed in this one for demonstration purposes so uh, this comes from experience it comes from knowledge of these things all the way through the 90s and uh, integrated with problem solving skills but that's one of the reasons you have two pictured here and one there like on the factory one lock ring so now, if you put your hub together like what we tell people, which they don't do, they've got a better process, you can find these things out real quick. There's actually a method to our madness. We've actually done one. I can't remember when it was, but I actually did one in my life. That's a joke. All right. God bless you. God bless America. And happy trucking.